camera to see me. Ooh, it's a it's a thingy camera. It's a gun camera. Oh god. Okay, this is gonna be horrible. Okay, door open. Door. Okay. What I might just do actually, it's probably worth just throwing a mine on it and then running away. So I need to time this properly. So it's looking over there. So door, door, mine. Oh god. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. I put it on the door. Oh, apparently it worked though, so that's okay. <laughs> that is not what I want to do. Do people going to come up the stairs now because of all that noise? I've got the AK. I'm ready to show them what for with the AK. Guys? Anyone down here? Ooh, there's a guy. Now, enemies generally do get stunned when you hit them. Did that kill him? That didn't kill him. So, shooting first and then asking questions later is a, is a tactic that works, basically. Um, did he have a shotgun? I thought he had a shotgun. No, I guess he had an AK. And I'm using, you know, the noisy AK as a stealth weapon. It's not a stealth weapon at all. Uh, but he was looking at me, so he saw me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, there's someone there. Let's just, yep, there you go. Dead. What we got down here? Anything? There's a guy. Kill him. Dead. Headshot. That was a headshot. That has to be a headshot. We need an instant replay of that, don't we? Uh, right. So we're now here. I've got to deal with this nonsense now. So what, what what do I mean by this nonsense? Well, I'm pretty sure there's another sniper. Yes, there is. And he's in this pretty much exactly the same spot. There we go. Dealt with. Perfect. <laughs> Get the AK out. S47, not the AK. It's not the AK. Possibly. There's a camera. Didn't spot me, fortunately. Come on, get the camera down. Um, now, definitely using where is this, this contraption? Using this contraption here is definitely beneficial because look, there's a guy here. Is he coming this way? He's coming this way. Ready? Bang! Didn't stand a chance. And then more guys coming. More guys may come now. That oh, now we don't want to set off the camera. At the start of the game, at the start of the level. They did indicate that uh, that that the, the 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 radios were down. Oh, I forgot to destroy the communications dish. Ooh! No, 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 no. We're killing you, right? Uh, I'm sure at some point in this level you do get the shotgun, right? Let's get the um, the gadget matron out. This thing. Yes. Now cameras have a range, so I'm actually out of range right now, so I'm perfectly safe to just kill it. However. Using the pistol would make the most sense because I can take my time. Come on, go away, camera. I could just ignore it as well. There we go, got it, I think. No, I didn't get it. Damn it, got it. Remember that hissing noise? The hissing noise is what you need to look for. Uh, right, so we've got full armor on this. Then we're going to in with the AK. Uh, this is the next location, I guess. Time crystal oh, yes, this thing. This thing will tell you when it's located the time crystal. Also, there's an enemy around there. So I need to be careful of him. Now, when enemies stop moving, they do disappear off the radar. So you got to be careful. This doesn't work on stationary enemies. Uh, oh, there's actually another camera over there. But, 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 but. Right, here we go. Hello. That's right, dies. There's someone coming up the stairs. Don't think so. Ooh, ooh, a weapon you definitely need. Oh, God, he pressed the button. There we go. Unpress the button. But it's summoned a bunch of guys, and I'm going to die now. Uh, unless I can find health. This is on hard, as I mentioned, so you take a huge amount of damage very, very quickly. Anaconda card? What? What is that? Wait. What's that? Inventory? Anaconda card. Oh, I forgot about this! I totally forgot about this! If you pick up this thing... Oh, all my wires are messed up here. If you pick up this thing, you can then do this. I completely forgot about this. Look, there's three hidden games in this. Look, it's Snake. <laughs> and you can play this. this. This I totally forgot about. Um, wow. And then you can speed yourself up. Oh, come here. Oh, screw you then. Screw you. Let's get some more reds. Let's just collect the reds. Screw you, blue guy. And then the music is pretty, like, weird. Listen to that. What is that? Oh man, I totally forgot about this. 
Let's see how long we can do this, shall we? Just have a quick blast on this. It'll only take like two minutes. Wee! <laughs> it's like a proper snake. I mean, even there are even modern uh, snake games that are not like completely analog. I say analog. It's not. You know, it's completely digital. But I mean, uh, there are modern snake games where you still only have the four directions. Whereas this thing's like, well, 206 degrees of freedom, yo. <laughs> this is advanced technology. Um, I can't even, I don't remember what the other hidden games are, or even where they are. I forgot that this game even has uh, hidden games in it. Oh, look at all these reds. Yes, maximum reds, because I missed like three of them there, I'm stupid. That was a bit close there. That was a little bit close. Just a teeny, teeny bit close. Oh. Ah, blue one! Blue ones are good, I forgot what blue ones do. Um, give you, give you a mad score, I think. Oh god, I'm far, far too long. Uh oh. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Uh, oh wow. Well, I didn't come last. Sure. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Wow. Okay. Well, I've got no health. I've got. Uh, to shoot, there's a camera to shoot somewhere. Oh, I think it's outside. That camera's actually outside, so that's um, not something I need to really worry about. I do need to shoot first and ask questions later at this point. Um, I believe this is showers in here, right? Yeah, this is showers. Oh, come on. Let's go. Right, yeah. Shoot, ask questions later. Definitely shoot, ask questions later. Alright, that's uh, there's a, yeah, I remember this. There's a thing there. That'll work anyway. Uh, there's a filing cabinet in there which we can destroy. Kaboom. That should burn it. Perfect. Then, alright, we're gonna have to pistol this guy up here. You ready for a pistoling? Get pistoled. Oh wow, it's pretty hard to aim when the camera is about one pixel um, wide on the screen, but that's okay. I got it anyway. Isn't there a guy around here? How do you not get set off by, uh, by my careless use of the AK, whatever. It's it's PlayStation 2 stealth logic, or Time Splitters 2 spell stealth logic to be more specific. Um, there's a double file cabinet here. Uh, we should do that in the way, so we don't take any damage or risk taking any damage. I'm pretty sure explosions will go through walls in this game, uh, including the, the effects. Uh, there's one filing cabinet. Oh, <laughs> no there isn't. Sometimes there are things in these crates, and since I have like loads of mines left, I may as well just kind of, you know, blow up the crates and see what's in the crates. There's a hair bothering me around the eye area. Anything in that crate? No, I think you need to smash them with a specific, uh, in a specific way to do it. Oh, checkpoint, right. I've reached the checkpoint. I have no health, um, no armor. I don't see this going particularly well at all. I think there's a guy around here. Forget that. Ooh, there's a lot of guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The guy's coming. The guy's coming. Fire! Right. Are we good? I like how to switch to this. I have to. Uh oh. I have to risk, you know. No, no. We only take like a couple of hits. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Did he throw a grenade at me? I think he threw a grenade at me and it missed. 15 grenades? What is this? Why are 15 grenades suddenly? Whatever. You can also switch. I forget how you do weapon switching. Here we go. You go to inventory and just kind of select it. There you go. That's another alternative way of picking it up. So he's picked, detected the time crystal. I think we can, oh, the fire extinguisher. Yeah, we can pick up the fire extinguisher. This is actually useful later. Now, I said the call, it is highly advisable to destroy these from down here through various means. The various means I'm going to go with is uh, mines. There you go. Mine, mine, run away. Otherwise, you just get shot up when you go in that room, which is eh, not ideal. <laughs> the glass blew out, as well as the speaker, in fact. Right, so. Oh, we would have got shot here suddenly. Uh, you cannot, I believe you can actually control them from here. Also, you've got this system desk required. Is that going to be a new objective? No. Just open the door. Does that open the door? I think that opens the door. What's this? These screens with green on them. Lovely. I guess 19 for 1990, that's accurate. Every every CRT would have been uh, would have been green. Nah. Nah, folks. Is there dudes around here? I feel like there is. Oh, that darkness. 
That darkness is unnecessary. Oh, I investigate the secret digging site. I've also acquired the, uh, ooh, what? Oh, I need to do a thing, don't I? Well, how, let's have a look at my objectives. How am I doing objective-wise? Uh, deactivate communications, I missed because I'm an idiot. I know exactly where to do that. Restore power, we're not done. Access the top of the dam, we've not done either. All right, let's get, let's get my gun out. Are you ready, gun? All right, let's head in door number three. So it was in door number three. Lasers. And mines. Like I needed more mines. Can I, um... Can I punch these, I wonder? And get... Ooh, I can punch them. Do they have anything in there? No, that's unfortunate. What's in here? Okay, I think we'll come back to that in a second. I do vaguely remember what happens there. Oh, this is the same kind of room. <gasps> Body armor! We got the grenades! Can I uh, punch these for... <laughs> Look at that punching animation. Just swings, swings, and can I punch the melons? Of course I can punch the melons. Naturally, although it's a bit hard to... Can I do an accurate aim with the... No. Oh, I hit the melon! Yeah! Okay, we got the melon. Melon? Melon. Not melon Varen. Right. AK-47. Now, I do remember what happens here. Oh, wait, there's a trap. And the trap is, check this out. Check this out, you ready? Boom! And then you can actually, you can't shoot yourself through that glass, but you can shoot him. And we can turn this off, and we're good. We've, oh, we need to open this door here, which actually opens the door on the other side, so that's fun. <laughs> I'll just like, how he's like, well, I need to guard this room that I'm locked in. He's actually locked in there, and he's like, he's gotta guard it. Tactical 12 gauge, it's a shotgun. Ooh, why did this door open? Why didn't that door open? Oh, there's two buttons. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Fine. Right. And now I do recall. Oh, you see. Well, I wonder what's going to happen here. Oh! You. You. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a failure. Okay, let's get back to that point. Here, as I recall, no. I just need to go in here, grab the armor and the grenades, uh, and then we can do number two. We'll do number two first, because this is where I failed last time. So we start with the old, uh, the classic just, oops, the classic just shoot him in the face, uh, turn the camera off, exit the camera, double open the doors. Why you have to double open the doors, it doesn't really... Um, makes sense, much sense to me. However, there is this guy around here who is an asshole. Uh, we will shoot him with a grenade. Whee! Because I know he's there. There we go, we got him. Now, we have to do a, a thing. Ooh! I, you rat bastard. You rat bastard. You're a total bastard, you are. What a bastard. Uh oh. All the monsters come to life now. All of them. Using this gun is not ideal, but it works, kind of. Okay, maybe it doesn't. Uh, we need shotgun. Shotgun. Bang! In the face. I think you need to aim for the heads, don't you? Yeah, if you decapitate them <laughs> with the shotgun, they die instantly. There you go. I have no health again. <laughs> wow, I think I've now got all the health that this level has to offer. Oh, wait, isn't there now a thing in, in here, actually? Uh, oh, well, there's these, but those don't really help me. Because I need to, um... Isn't there a thing down here now? I'm sure there's a thing down here now. Those are the two, actually, from the very start of the cutscene, as you may recall. Do I jump down there? I don't think I jumped down there. No, I think jumping down there is an, um, a critical error, which will no doubt result in a mission failure, and I'll have to do it get all again. Um, did I have the system disc? Did it say I have the system disc? Wait a minute. I think I meant to get the system disc from in here, somewhere. Did I not pick it up? Oh, let's check my inventory. Inventory. Computer disc, yes. <laughs> Even... Wait a minute, what does that say on it? 
It says... Oh, it's in Russian. Okay, I can't read it. Fine. Right, I've got two shells. With these two shells, I need to do all kinds of crap. Um, as in, kill everything. I've got two shells, I don't have to kill everything. I do like how um, the, the shell storage thing on the side there becomes empty as uh, you use ammo. That's quite nice. Right, so we're rebooting the system. Shutting down all sorts of systems. Danger containment failure. Isn't this fantastic? So with a containment failure, I do believe, yeah, we've got to deal with this nonsense now. There we go. Double decap. Um, is that guy behind us? Whoops. I've got aim stuck on. There you go. Uh, we can decapitate, as I recall, with the pistol. That, that is a thing. Look, we can take the heads out pretty easily with this thing. As long as they're all at the same height and we just don't need to really worry about aiming too much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There you go. Uh, what about behind us? you got to check behind you on this mission because I'm sure things do come up behind you at some point. Uh, and since I have such little health, well, that's not going to end well, is it? That's going to end pretty badly. Now, I think we've killed everyone here. <gasps> we get the flamethrower! Oh, this thing is so dangerous. You can set yourself on fire so easily with this thing. But it kicks ass nonetheless, uh, apart from the bit where, where I get set on fire because I'm an idiot. Ooh, careful, careful. I don't think there's anything actually in here. Now, our container, yes, this is another objective we have. Uh, so we can set this guy on fire, sort of. Ooh, it's hard to judge. It's hard to judge. We won't do that. We won't risk that. We'll just kind of try and go for the decap decaps. Oh, come on. We're going to decap. Okay, got the one behind him. Got the one in front of him. I need the two guys from the start who are very unfortunate. Is there any more guys? It's so dark there with that dynamic lighting. Um, here we go. We've got this thing now. Container. This container here. We need to... So this is a specimen from like four years ago. When I say four years ago, like 10,000. Put a bunch of mines on it, and that should just own it. There you go. Done. Easy. So how many objectives have we got left now? We have deactivate the communication right from the from the start and activate the top of the access the top of the dam. Attention. Now Attention. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a, there's a dude. There's a dude. I'm sniping him from this distance. Ooh! No! 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 Okay. Well, I think playing this on hard may have been a mistake. I'll see you guys next time when I'll play play it on normal. Have fun. Goodbye.